Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, I got an issue. Um, door locks aren't working, at least on this side. It works on all the rest of them. So it's this switch here. And these uh, GMCs and Chevys all have these switches and they always have problems. A lot of people think they can just switch out the switch and fix the problem. The actual problem in these, we'll pop this out. This one I've had in and out enough to where I pretty much don't need to have a screwdriver for the most part. And what it is, if I mess with this enough, and I believe it's the yellow one here, I can make it work. And I'll show you what, what it is. It's this right here. Uh, hopefully you can see this good enough. And honestly, I don't know the number to these or anything like that. I got these at Napa. Um, and it's down inside that switch right there. So I replaced all these ones in here and now these ones are going bad. Quite honestly, I can tell it's this yellow one because I can kind of mess with it until it doesn't work. See, sometimes it works. Sometimes don't so I'm pretty sure it's this yellow one right here So right now I'm in a hurry yet again as usual because I need to be able to use this truck when I need it And so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this and these Are a little bit tricky. Hopefully you can see this Probably not. There's a little This white or grayish thing here, and then there's a black plug so you can pull this whole plug out but I just need to get to the ones in here and these actually separate there's a little gray or white it looks more gray to me uh, thing here that I just push in on with the screwdriver take you a while you're gonna fiddle with it you just got to be real careful and try not to break anything and like I said I'm sure there's tools out there for doing all this stuff but there are some things I just don't do enough of it to make it worth buying the tool. And if I do that on camera, I'm going to break it. So I'm going to go ahead and get that off of there. And I'm glad I kind of stopped there for a minute because, quite honestly, I was taking this one out. And I only need, I think, take this one out over here. So here it is. That's the clip. And I believe it only can go one direction. But if you look right here and here those are the things you got to kind of push on and it'll pop loose and then you take and i just took a screwdriver and just kind of slightly pulled up on it and it finally popped out took me a little while to get but just got to work at it there's no real big secret to it unfortunately now hopefully i should be able to just pull this yellow one out of here and we shall see maybe not Oh no, let's see here, I remember there was a trick to this, but I don't remember what it was. Okay, now I figured it out. I did have to unplug it, um, and then you go through this end right here, and what I use is this little pick right here, and here's the new one. And what you have to do is you got to get down in behind it. And I doubt it's going to focus well enough for this. But you get in behind it. Uh, now this is the side that plugs right here. We're going on the other side of it. Get in behind it. And there's a little clip right here that you push on. So I just stuck this down in there and pushed on it. Took me a minute to figure it out. But Yet again, um, trial and error. Uh, I did this before, but it was quite a while ago. And I don't remember exactly how I did it. So now I remember use this push down in there and then there's a little clip that will either break or push in to where you can push it out through the other end or pull it out so i don't have a whole lot of extra wire here um so i'm trying to just replace the one and not use them all so i'm going to try and actually get away i got a bigger set of cutters and try and cut this off and actually try and kind of pry this off of here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able get to get that end off up further, but I just couldn't do it. So uh, we're going to go with it now and hope it all works out. Take it and give yourself quite a bit of stripping room here.
and then I do not yet again have the right tools for this so you put that on there and quite honestly I just got a regular pair of crimpers here and I just kind of carefully start yeah. squeezing things actually I think I'm gonna go this direction and these are crimpers but they are not the right type I'm telling you right now there's a special one that you probably want to try and get if you can but I honestly I made this work last time and these have been working for at least a year or more now the ones here come on now see and I'm getting that kind of around there and improperly using the cutters on this tool but I'm not pressing really hard just kind of squeezing it around the bottom for now to get it to go and then once I get it should be able to crimp that down pretty good right there with these so that's coming coming along good I take and push this down yet again oh you should go you might even be able to rent the tool I never even thought about that now that I'm doing it might be able to rent the tool from one of the parts stores might might all right and that's on there good I can't pull it off so I'm happy with that if it's long enough and I gotta figure out which direction I need this to go and stick that down in there until it clicks and there you go it's that one right there so hopefully that will do the trick hopefully I don't have oh, this brown ones coming out too that's the one problem with this once you start having problems they all start going down the tubes here try and get that one to go back in it probably is going to be needing replaced here before long probably should just do it right now but sometimes you can get in there and just kind of not bend them but bend that little thing that holds them in a little bit all right push that in there a little bit more Okay. let us try it out hopefully that was the right one and it wasn't that brown one there but it was the yellow one I was moving quite a bit that made it go It could be that this wire has a short further up, or I just didn't get it clicked in there good enough. So. All right, confession time. I screwed up. I forgot when I went to start putting my tools away. Part of the reason why this stuff started probably falling out. because I didn't put this piece back in so I got to do that now that it's plugged in it's probably gonna be harder but we're gonna try it there we go and that should make it work all right that was pretty simple but I thought I should confess, especially since you should do that, unlike I did. All right, yet again, this is Sam, Jack of all, and obviously, Master of None. Y'all have a good one.